As I got older, for some reason, she kept coming into my mind. And now I know why. Having a baby in my arms was, to me, like a kid holding a kid. I didn't know how to tell my parents at the time. I was afraid, and I never said anything. I met my wife, Rachel, a couple months after all this had happened. We never had children. And if we would have had her, we would have raised her together. I used to visit her, like, the first couple months of her life. I went to see her one day, and they were gone. A good friend of the mother's said, I have some bad news for you. Janelle's been given up for adoption to some family in Arizona. And that was all I knew. And she gave me a little picture of her. I kept it in my wallet for all these years. I grew up believing my father died in a car accident. For 36 years of my life, all I knew was lies. I guess it just all began with me being adopted. Six. and not feeling accepted and not feeling like I'm part of that family, you know, that I was adopted into. I'm gonna take this one too. When I was 28, I had come in contact with my biological mom and she said, well, he's alive somewhere in California. That's all I know. I did a 23andMe DNA kit that my husband's aunt had given me for my birthday. Hey, put your honey poo poo in the car. About a couple weeks later, my cousin Rachel reached out to me and said, hey, it shows that we're second cousins. I was sitting here on the couch and I get a text from my great niece, Rachel. She asked me if I knew Janelle's biological mom. And when she said that, it really caught my attention because I haven't heard that name since I was a teenager. So I told her the whole story. I said, look, the family doesn't know. When I was a teenager, I had a daughter. It was a one night stand and it didn't mean anything to me, but Janelle did. She was taken away from me and given up for adoption. And she lives in Arizona somewhere. That's the last I knew. And then she got real quiet and started crying. She says, oh my God, Uncle Buck, I think I found your daughter. And he called me that night. It was around seven o'clock. I pick up and he goes, hello. I'll never forget that hello. And I said, Janelle, and she goes, yeah, this is your dad. And she goes, oh my God, you know, and she started crying. We both started crying. It was such a, like, um, an overwhelming feeling of, like, oh, my God, I I hear my dad's voice. (laughs) And, oh, my God, this is my dad. She had her guard up because of her past. I guess she's been lied to. Basically, I asked him questions, and I just wanted the truth. I said, you want to know the truth? I'll tell you the truth. And I told her everything. I could feel in my heart that he wasn't lying and that he was being honest with me. I'm gonna tell you something, you weren't conceived from love, but you've been loved your whole life. I've always loved you. I didn't know nothing about you, but I've always loved you. I met my dad a year ago to this weekend. There's not a day that goes by that I don't talk to him. Hi! Oh my god! Hi, Mia. How are you? Hi, Mia. Oh my goodness! Oh, how are you? <laughs> Once Cheyenne is with her grandpa, their worlds just light up. <laughs> I'm gonna use this color. What color is that? That is red violet. Red violet? Mm hmm. This is a good one, too. You like that one. I'm I'm here, and we're not going nowhere. She knows that now, you know. She knows in her heart, and I just try to be, I'm trying to be the dad that I I could never be to her, you know, and and just do the best I can now. When I met my dad, I was like he was only gone for a moment, 
it was like he was gone my whole life. We planned a party so she could meet her family for the first time, her whole family. And, you know, tomorrow's that day. I guess I'm nervous, not only, you know, having my dad accept me, but I guess I just want the family to accept me. You're so beautiful. All, all of them. <laughs> we came out victors out of this whole story. And I tell her whatever happened in the past happened in the past. We can't change that and we can't live our lives by it. We just live from today forward. And I try to instill that to her every day in some way. Hi, I'm Janelle and Frank's daughter. I'll never forget that moment. I looked around and I just started bawling my eyes out like, oh my God, this is, this is my family. This is, this is part of me. This is where I'm from. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for allowing this to happen. Thank you for our family and bringing us together, Lord, and bringing our daughter home to her family where she belongs. We thank you for all this food we're about to eat, and everybody have a good time. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. I love you, Lord. Thank you. Try not to cry. To go from having no acceptance to all the acceptance in the world, It's the most truly amazing feeling in the world. It's been a long 36 years, but you know, we got each other now. You know, that's all that matters.